This video is only one part of an in-depth review, so check out the rest of thegoodride.com. Thanks for watching. Welcome to The Good Ride, I'm James Beastie, and I'm deeply committed to an open relationship with snowboard gear. This is the Jones Mercury. I rode this with my Burton Kendos and primarily tested it out with the Jones Mountain Twin, and I compared it against my Union Atlas and these other bindings you see here, the Now Drive, the Jones Apollo, and the Jones Meteorite. I got this in a wide variety of conditions, everything from firm and unfair to firm but fair to pretty good groomers to uh, messy, bumpy, uneven snow. To give you a short summary, these have really changed from the last time I tried them. They've really evolved. They used to be so much like the Now Drive. Now they really have their own thing going. They just feel like almost totally redesigned. They have new ankle straps, new toe straps, and they just feel a little bit more responsive. They still have that incredible dampness. They still have poor adjustability, but they have such good response. It's definitely a bump up from the Now Drive. Real big difference these days where these used to be almost like the same. So very cool upgrades for 2022. Let's talk weight here. These are two pounds, not too heavy, not too light. They're kind of just right. If you compare that to the Apollo, these are 1.8 pounds, so a little bit lighter. If you compare it to the Now Drive, 1.8 pounds, a little bit lighter, but they're the same weight as the Meteorite. Now let's talk high back flex. You've got a little bit of twist here, not a lot, and basically no give. There's just a touch of give if I really try. If you compare that though to the Apollo, there's almost no twist and no give. It's just a much stiffer, wider, high back as you can see. Compare that to the Now Drive, which they used to be really similar, now they're not. There's a little bit of twist with the drive and just a touch of give. Now if you compare that to the Meteorite, a little bit of twist and almost no give. I felt just a touch of calf bite, which I don't like with my even featured calves. So for some, won't be an issue, but for some like me, I wish I had more control with high back rotation so I could reduce the calf bite, but overall it twisted enough to not be too problematic. Now, when it comes to flex underfoot and buttering, this is a really interesting setup. You have skate tech here and you have these stoppers, which you can see come off for literally like no reason. I hate dealing with the stoppers with these things, but these four stoppers are the primary connection to the board and they're on each end. You can change out the stoppers. You can go softer or more stiff, responsive. And then you have this plate in the middle here that moves in and out. That's why it has that kind of skate tech kind of feel. What I found is it's, even with the softer stoppers, it's not super buttery, but what I like is it really dampens up the board and makes it feel stiffer and just better at high speeds. So a lot of people like that. And it's not as buttery as let's say a mini disc or Burton Reflex, but it really stiffens up the ride and makes it feel pretty responsive, especially with this year's model. Now, speaking of turn initiation and response, this binding has so much more response than it used to, especially when comparing it to the Now Drive. These feel like medium fast. And when I compared them against my Union Atlas, they were right there with them, maybe even a touch more responsive. And they definitely felt a good bit more responsive than the Drive, which are kind of like they're kind of like a brother, they're both made by now. Yes, the Apollo is faster and the Meteorite is a little more in line with the now drive, but wow, I, I really liked the response. It really powered my Jones Mountain Twin well, edge to edge. As quick as I wanted it to go, it would do it. And even if you put in softer stoppers, I think the response would still be medium to medium fast. Now, when it comes to shock absorption and dampness, you have a very soft 
EVA foam footbed here that goes throughout, pretty much throughout the binding. Then you have these stoppers on each side and those rubber stoppers combined with this EVA foam make for an incredibly damp ride. It is just smooth and cushy and you can kind of ride all day. It takes a board and dampens it up, makes it feel stiffer and makes it feel less chattery. So I love that. This is a great all day resort ride. The one thing I don't like about these guys is what they call the sway bar. It goes underneath the gas pedal. There is no plastic protector above it. So even with my Burton Kendos and Burton Ions, I felt a little pressure on the bridge of my foot. So let's say these are my toes and this is kind of where your, your foot ends and your toe begins. This sway bar, when the toe straps crank down, really put some pressure up here and caused minor cramping. It wasn't as bad as when I had the softer sole Adidas Tactical ADVs, but it was still noticeable and something that was fatiguing and I didn't like that. And that's one kind of thing that still holds me back. I wish they would do like what Burton does and what almost every other company does that uses soft EVA foam like this. They put this little plastic barrier right in here in the EVA foam that goes right over the sway bar and it protects you from that upwards pressure in your arch. And so I would say get these if you have really stiff soles on your boots. And if you do, then you're not gonna notice it. But if your soles are kind of soft and shock absorbent, like I like, they're not gonna work as well with these bindings. Now, when it comes to boot support and the ratchets, the ratchets were really smooth. I had no complaints with them and you could crank them down as hard as you want. This ankle strap is exceptional. I just loved how it fit around my boot. I feel like it's very supportive. It still allows a little freedom of movement. And with now bindings, your heel loop is a little tighter than let's say some bindings out there. So you really feel kind of locked in. Then you combine this really nice supportive ankle strap and a really good toe strap that pulls your boot in. Excellent boot support and I just felt really locked in and just ready to drive edge to edge. Now when it comes to adjustability, you're kind of at a loss here. These are plug and play. You don't really have much going on here and it's, it's a little frustrating. Basically, all you have are toolless ankle strap and toe strap adjustability. You have forward lean on your high back that's toolless, and that's it. You cannot move this footbed in or out to match your boot's footprint. You can't move the heel loop in or out. Uh, you can't rotate your high backs. They're pre-rotated, and that's that. So no real adjustability. You can't really get your boot centered in the binding unless it's in that middle ground in the sizing recommendations, like this is probably around eight to 10. So if you had a size nine boot like I do, it's centered pretty well in this binding. Then you can take these discs and turn them sideways and slide them a little bit. But as you can see, there isn't much stance with adjustability either. It's mainly made to be lined up heel to toe and slide that way so you can center your binding on the board a little better. But adjustability is there's just really none. So overall, if you can get past the lack of adjustability and you have a stiff soled boot, not a soft soled boot, I think this is an amazing binding. It is damp, it is fast, and it is much more responsive than the now drive and much more responsive than the older model of the Mercury that I rode before. All our reviews are best effort, objective opinion from an average rider's perspective. There's no brand oversight and we're free to say whatever we want. We send back everything unless it's a favorite, then we ask to keep those or straight up buy them. Now, if you need advice, fill out the Me Harmony profile in the contact us section of the site. It's the only way I can help you properly. 
If you want to support us, and if what we reviewed appeals to you, it helps if you buy through our links. So, thanks for watching.